Let us talk about inter-network traffic privacy. This is not a specific feature to AWS, but it's just a concept in security. So what is inter-network traffic privacy? This is about keeping data private as it travels across different networks. And uh, usually the idea here is that when we're talking about cloud, it's about keeping the traffic within the uh, like AWS network, you know, the Azure network, the GCP network internally, so it never goes out to the internet and it's going to benefit from uh, the cloud service providers, uh, security measures um, and things like that. So there are two ways uh, that we can have inter-network traffic privacy when we're talking about S3. The first is AWS private link. So this is also known as VPC interface endpoints. I'm not sure if it was called VPC interface endpoints and then renamed to AWS private link. Um, but we do talk about these in our networking section in more detail, but I'm just trying to remind you in this part what these things do. So for VPC interface endpoints, this allows you to connect an ENI, Elastic Network Interface, directly to other AWS services like S3, EC2, and Lambda. It can uh, connect to, to select third-party services via the AWS Marketplace, and AWS Private Link can go cross-account. It has fine-grained permissions uh, via VPC endpoint policies, uh, there is a charge for using AWS Private Link, so it's not free, but it's extremely robust um, utility or networking networking uh, feature uh, to keep your traffic private and internal within the within the AWS network. So next we have is VPC gateway endpoints. So this allows you to connect a VPC directly to S3 or DynamoDB, uh, staying private with the internal AWS network. VPC gateway endpoints cannot go cross account. Uh, it does not have fine grained permissions and there is no charge to use VPC uh, gateway endpoints. So when you can use VPC gateway endpoints when it makes sense for your use case, because it is uh, free, whereas VP, uh, AWS private link or VPC interface endpoints, uh, they can add up pretty quickly. And yeah, I know I missed the S on there, but uh, what, what, what can you do about it, okay? We'll see you in the next one, ciao.